Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, yesterday, I demonstrated a very simple egg stir fry dish, and it takes only about 3 to 4 minutes. Uh, this is an excellent dish uh, to practice stir frying, uh, to season your wok, as well as to create different versions uh, so you can understand template based cooking. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to flavor this dish uh, using flavor chasing. And for most people, to create the flavor they love and enjoy is probably the most desirable thing to do because we all love flavor first before we love food. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use herbs and spices to flavor this dish. And once you understand the basic principles to use these herbs and spices, you have almost infinite variations to create as many different versions as you would like. Uh, like many people, I used to have a spice rack like this in my kitchen, uh, but I gave it away because I hardly use it. Uh, the primary reason that I did not use it is uh, because I do not know what kind of spice hurt uh, to put in the type of dish that I was cooking. And furthermore, most of the time, I really don't know how much to put in. And they're also not convenient. Each time when I want to use one, I have to open up the cap. If I want to use multiple herbs and spices, I have opened up multiple bottles. Uh, this small inconvenience uh, discouraged me from using them. And I still remember the day when I visited my friend Kim, uh, we were cooking together. Uh, he took out a stainless steel box from his kitchen cupboard. Uh, the box has a glass cover. Uh, when he opened up the box, uh, there are seven different herbs and spices that are stored in individual containers. I immediately recognized uh, the benefit of such a box. Uh, because once he opens up the cover, all of these seven different herbs and spices immediately available to him uh, so that he can pick and choose what he wants to use. Uh, this is a great system to encourage to use the herbs and spices, uh, both in different combinations as well as in different ratios. Uh, this provides greater opportunities for experimentation, creativity, and improvisation. Uh, Kim told me that this is a spice box known as masala daba that is found in every Indian kitchen. Uh, Kim also told me this is a common gift uh, to a newlywed couple, uh, providing an indication of their independence in home cooking. Uh, there are many different types of masala daba, but the most common version is constructed by stainless steel. Inside each of the masala daba, there are seven stainless steel containers, each with their own dispensing spoons. And many of them come with a glass cover. And the glass cover is very convenient. It allows you to see what is inside. And the glass cover is not airtight. So the masala daba is only good for storing herbs and spices that you use frequently. It certainly is not designed for long-term storage. If you want to store seasoning agents over a long period of time, uh, you should still store them in airtight bottles. And for those seasoning agents that you use regularly, the masala daba definitely is a much better way for you to store them, uh, particularly for easy access. Ever since I obtained the masala daba, uh, I start using different seasoning agents much more creatively than I have done in the past. Instead of opening each individual bottle, uh, once I open the cover of the masala daba, I have all these seven herbs and spices available to me immediately. As you would imagine, uh, every cook will probably store different types of seasoning agents in their masala daba. Uh, for my masala daba, I start out with uh, mushroom seasoning, onion flakes, garlic powder, ginger powder, lemon pepper,
cumin and paprika. And the choices turn out to be actually quite simple because these are the seven uh, herbs and spices that I really enjoy in the past. So I decided I'm going to put them into this masala dabas uh, so that I can combine them as well as uh, uh, change the ratio of what I'm going to put into my dishes. The first uh, seasoning agent that I selected is mushroom seasoning. Uh, my friend June, uh, she's from Singapore, uh, introduced me to mushroom seasoning. Uh, she told me that mushroom seasoning has been popular in Singapore for quite some time. Uh, this mushroom seasoning uh, is extract from mushroom and it contains a low level of salt and it is designed uh, to enhance the umami flavor of a dish. It is available in the many Asian supermarkets, but you can also purchase it online. Uh, if you live in a city with Asian supermarket, this may be the first place to go uh, because it is much cheaper there. Uh, the second seasoning agent that I use is uh, granulated garlic. It is a great seasoning agent to use when you want to add garlic flavor uh, to a dish. I prefer granulated garlic over garlic powder because they tend to absorb less moisture. So they are less likely to clump together. And next is minced onions. They are basically a little onion flakes that has been dried. And when you hydrate them, they provide a nice onion flavor as well as a texture. I prefer them over onion powder and I think they add a great deal to a dish. And next is lemon pepper. I really like the lemon flavor of uh, this seasoning agent. And they are great for chicken as well as seafood. I also uh, use it as a pepper substitute. It also contains a small amount of salt. And next is ginger powder. I use ginger powder to enhance the complexity of flavor of a dish. I use ginger powder sparingly. I purchased my ginger powder from an Indian grocery store. Uh, they are better quality and they are much cheaper. Uh, the next seasoning agent in my masala daba uh, is cumin. Again, cumin has strong flavor. I use cumin sparingly. About uh, a certain type of dishes, they provide a unique characteristic. Uh, the final but the not the least uh, seasoning agent that I have in my masala daba is paprika. I discovered by using a small amount of paprika can greatly enhance the flavor of a dish. Uh, the flavor can be very subtle uh, because sometimes you cannot even taste the paprika. Uh, so the question that you might have is that uh, how do you use these seven seasoning agents in your masala daba uh, to create the flavor of the type of dish that you like. Uh, do you have variations based on the ingredients in that dish? And my answer is yes. And the following, I will provide you with some examples. Uh, for example, this will be a seasoning mix that I use for vegetables. And depending on the type of vegetables that I'm cooking, I will make further adjustment. Uh, here is a seasoning mix that I will use for eggs. Uh, for me, this is just a starting point uh, to make further modifications. And here is a seasoning mix for chicken, as you can see some variations right there. And finally, this is a seasoning mix for shrimp, uh, as well as for other type of seafood. And to be honest, I never really try to be precise in how much I put in with each of the seasoning agents. A lot of time I am guided by my intuition. And in many ways, uh, this is the essence of uh, flavor chasing. Uh, after numerous experimentations, trial and errors, I discovered one particular combination that worked probably for almost everything I cook and I really like the flavor. And I call this a basic seasoning mix. And when I have my cooking school, I have this available for my student to purchase so they can test it out. I post a video each day, 
because I believe my home cooking system will help you to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about my cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.